Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with my next war recap video, and taking a quick look at it um, against Kappa Milia Clan, and pretty disappointing. Uh, what they did to our bases, um, typical, you know, three star everything, all the bottom bases, um, and then top four guys, uh, they just couldn't do much on. Got the two stars and uh, those three, but couldn't do anything to my main account. And then what we did was a bit disappointing. The problem isn't our top guys. Uh, you can see here that uh, we actually got a lot of three stars up high, um, which would have been plenty to win it. But too many of these bases, especially those bases that weren't even attacked, a um, bunch of Town Hall 8s not cleaned up. And that was really just the problem for the clan. And I think most of it's coming from... Uh, we've had a few unreliable Town Hall 8s, and when you put someone who's unreliable uh, as a Town Hall 8 in war, that can really be detrimental if they don't attack or don't do well in their attacks, don't get any 3 stars, because um, we don't have a lot of Town Hall 8s, so by bringing one, uh, that's warranting one or two Town Hall 8s in the matchup, and uh, it's just bringing more problems that it can solve, really, if it's not able to 3 star those bases. So... Uh, we definitely have to clean up those middle bases more, and I think uh, we can help start doing that by uh, only bringing the Town Hall 8s that we know can uh, really start to take out some of these uh, other Town Hall 8s. And part of that is just because we have some new Town Hall 8s that don't quite have the troops upgraded, but they still uh, warrant uh, enemy Town Hall 8s. So this clan had a ton of Town Hall 8s. We didn't have very many, and even the ones that we have, most of them are just very early Town Hall 8s with Town Hall 7 troops, and that third air defense can really hurt a dragon attack that used to be able to work at Town Hall 7. So, obviously, a few problems uh, there, but we're working it out. First 20v20 war, uh, trying to, you know, see where all our members are at and kick people, if you know, if necessary. We're going to look at a few attacks today, but while that goes on, I kind of want to talk about um, where the clan's at right now, a little more in-depth than that. So, as you guys know, it is a subscribe, subscriber clan, so, you know, we're letting in people with the password, and so far, anyone that's, you know, put the password down, uh, we'll allow them to join. Uh, we're not going to discriminate if they're very low level. Uh, we have a lot of people that are new to the game joining, a lot of younger people, and a lot of people uh, that have premature bases with low level troops and stuff, and we're basically letting anyone go into war who wants to, but it's kind of a tryout. Because if you're going to, it's fine if you don't want a war, you can join the clan. We have plenty of room. You can stay uh, and just uh, play the game normally, farm, uh, trophy push, all that stuff. And you don't have to join wars. But if you opt into war and if you want to war, uh, you have to, you know, not only just use your attacks, but be good. Be willing to learn. Even if you're not good at first, you know, use the advice you get and get better. And if we're not seeing improvement, um... And if you're just kind of staying stagnant and not uh, trying to develop uh, your skills within the game, uh, we will kick you. And that's kind of the position we've ar we've always ho held. It's not just a subscriber clan where, you know, you have the spot if you're subscribed to the clan. It it's also, <clears throat> uh, you have to have the skill set to stay. And that's just how it's going to be. Um, if you don't want to do wars, you can always opt out. But if you're in wars and you're opted in, uh, we're not just going to simply not let you join wars. Uh, we will kick you if uh, you know you're still trying to get in these wars, but not uh, bringing any uh, skill set to the table. So um, I think the direction the clan wants to go, because we've been talking about this, I've seen people talking about it, um, is that we're still going to let anyone in that has the password. Um, but I think we want to be a little bit tighter on who we let into the wars. Uh, we're not going to opt people in that we haven't seen uh, much of that might not attack and that might not be good at attacking. So uh, it's really going to be a little bit of a slower process once you join as far as when you're allowed to war. We're going to keep it 10v10, 15v15. This is our first 20v20 war. So um, letting a lot of people I didn't really uh, know how good they were, we let them attack. And, you know, obviously some problems uh, were exposed, but that can be dealt with. Uh, we'll take a look at Viper's attack as we keep going uh, right here. But the thing is, 
that's the decision that the clan has to make because we could be hardcore war, um, you know, subscriber clan, sure, the YouTube channel is part of it, but we could only, you know, accept bases that are really going to, you know, be offense first, they get us the good matchup, they can three-star a base if they're equal level, but we're not doing that. We're going to accept everyone, um, you know, it is a subscriber clan first before it's a war clan. I've always held that position, but the war is a separate aspect. That if you want to partake in the wars, uh, you have to have the skill set. You have to have the commitment to use your attacks because uh, the war is probably what's valued most in the YouTube channel. So it's what's valued most in the clan as well. So uh, if you're not using your attacks, if you're not improving and bringing uh, the right type of attacks after you've been told uh, what you know what you need to work on, we're still you know not going to kick you. We probably won't let you war at first, and then uh, if you're just continuing to stay stagnant in the clan, uh, you probably will be kicked, and that's just the reality. Um, no problem with people that don't want to war, but don't try to put yourself in the war scene uh, unless you really have the skill set and you're willing to take the time to do your war attacks and to work on improving them. So that's kind of where we stand right now with uh, the war policy. Uh, taking a look at Viper uh, on this Town Hall 7 attack. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, uh, that's just kind of the thing with war. We're going to fast forward a little bit here. Uh, so, you know, the, we've had, obviously in this war, there was the issue. And I think, like I said, we're going to lower our numbers. Um, I'll go ahead and throw attack by Rouge up here. Uh, we're going to lower our, you know, our war numbers and really focus on the people that we know can bring the nice attacks and get the three stars for us. And I think uh, we can continue to be successful because we have been, that was, you know, only a little hiccup in our war log. And for the most part, we've been just crushing it in war. I think we're about 38 and 3, I believe. So no worries there. Uh, nothing to be too concerned about. But we are going to kind of be a little bit stricter as far as the uh, war policy goes. Um, so... Hope that makes sense to everyone in the clan who's watching this and anyone that's going to look to join at some point. Uh, let's just finish up with this attack by Rouge here. I go times two just for sake of time. But a uh, nice attack here. Uh, lures and kills the CC. Giants up the uh, gut. Backing it up by Wizards. Uh, taking all that stuff down. Uh, you know, Giants in this big compartment are able to take out all these defenses. He has a few spring traps, but still has some Giants and some wizards back behind shooting. Uh, wizard's going to shoot down that archer tower. That heal spell was a little bit late. Could have used that a little bit earlier because it's only really healing one giant and a few wizards. But has just enough uh, juice to take down that archer tower and then still has some wizards and archers on the outside uh, making their way through. And we'll fast forward. Um, forgot to put an archer or a barbarian on that barracks over there. So has to let his troops run all the way over there which, you know, could have ran out of time, but had enough time to get the job done. So nice attack, but a few things could tweak. Uh, but they, the idea was right. So nice job to Rouge. Um, that's it for this war recap. Like I said, um, we're not changing a whole lot, but we're going to be stricter on war. Uh, this 20v20 was kind of an experiment, and I think it just showed the results I thought might happen, where uh, we can't just loosely put people in war. Got to, you know, know who they are, know uh, what they're commitment to the clan is before we let them uh, you, you know, be in the war. So I hope you guys enjoyed the attacks in the background, and for those of you in the clan, I uh, hope you uh, agree and like the new policy. So uh, that's going to do it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.